So this is Charlie. Let's talk for a little bit <clears throat> about um, Jade. Um, you might find this deck with the bit.ly Jade-Mixins useful, Jade-Mixins, in particular this page. Okay. Um, we'll come over here to WebStorm and we're taking a look at a file, a Jade file. And let's go see what it looks like in a running program. So we'll go ahead and we'll run npm start. We'll start our program. <clears throat> we'll come over here to the browser and we'll go to our local host 30025 and we'll look at the program. Now, <clears throat> let's come back to the editor for just a sec. All that ought to make sense to you what's going on. It's just the default page. Now, I'm gonna choose file settings general fire file settings editor general appearance and notice that i have white space turned on here notice this show white space it's turned on and if you're getting confused here remember you can just come over here to the browser and go to my page the one i was mentioning bitly Jade Mixins, go to the indentation page and you can see how to get to these shortcuts. And I show them also for Genie and for Notepad. And so we're back over here and we're looking and we're turning on white space. Now, white space was turned on and you might not be able to see much because life is the way it is. I'm going to do a print screen and then I'm going to open up that screen capture inside a, as a bitmap. And I'm going to scroll in, and now you can probably see the little periods in the editor that represent your white space, okay? Um, just crucial. Those, each dot here, period, represents a space. So now your white space is visible, okay? If we went to File, Settings, and toggled off white space, then the white space is no longer visible in here. You can't see the little periods. So we like to go to File, Settings, Editor, General, Appearance, and turn on white space. We also like to go to Code Style and say, let's use tab characters and let's have the tab indentation be four characters that deep. If we want, we can specify it only for Jade files. We're going to use tab characters. See, here it is without tab characters, and here it is with tab characters, okay? So we're going to turn those on. And now, as you can see, we don't see tab characters here. Why? Because we only have two spaces in here. So go to code, reformat code, and now we can see our indentation and we know that this thing is indented two spaces. If we came over here, for instance, to Genie, and we looked at this page, then you can see that we can again, in Genie, see that indentation because we have the right options turned on. The same would be true if we came over here to Notepad++, and here again, we can see the indentation. Now, suppose I went here in Notepad++, and I put two spaces in there. So now I have on this line a mixture of spaces and tabs, and I saved my work. And I came over here to the browser and I refreshed it. I get this error and it says invalid indentation. You can use tabs or spaces, but not both. And it points right at the line that's making it unhappy. Line five, line four, right in here. So we can come back to the editor. We can make it a single tab. We can save it. We can come back. We can refresh the screen and now life is good. Okay. Now, Let's come over here and I have a little chunk of Jade and we'll paste it into our editor. Okay, so now I've got a little chunk of Jade pasted into our editor here and I'll save that and we'll come back over here and we'll look at it. So we've got a menu up top and we've got some stuff down here now. Let's come back for a second and let's just make life not so good. I'm going to hold control and space keys down 
and I'm going to take this whole chunk of text down here and I'm going to remove its indentation altogether. Then we'll come back over here and we'll refresh and look, it disappeared. Do you see? It's as if it weren't there. Okay? And there's no error messages anywhere. But you come back and you look at your jade and you say, I know it's here. But what's its problem? It's outside the block. It's outside the container. It's outside everything. Now, here's another thing we could do. We can take that same chunk of text, indent it once, and indent it twice. Now, right now, let's just go ahead and save this for a second. And then you probably understand that this isn't so good either. And now we're looking at it and it says invalid indentation. You can use tabs or spaces, but not both. And it starts complaining about line 15. And we can come back over here and see we're using spaces, the little spaces things. So let's do an alt print screen. And let's bring that puppy up in, in our bitmap. And then let's zoom in on it. And let's look. You see up here, do you see the little dots, which are spaces up here? And here's my tabs down here. That's what's causing us trouble. Spaces up here, tabs down here. Jade is unhappy. Its life is no longer good, okay? Now, you can come here, and all editors have these kind of options, where you can choose Edit, Blank Operations, Tabs, to space or space to tab and i'll choose space to tab and do you see it fixed our problem now everything except this very first level which doesn't have enough is is tabs except look this one's tabs and spaces this one's tabs and spaces right so our life isn't good yet even though it seemed like our life was good and if we come back over here and save that and then we come back to the browser and we press refresh, it's still unhappy, invalid indentation. You can use one or the other, but you can't use both. So let's fix that one, make it tabs, which means that everybody under it to keep it right needs to go out another tab space. And then let's find the little places. Do you see if you can't see the white spaces, you will think that this is forever some kind of voodoo science that makes no sense. You need to be able to see the white space to fix up these things when they go south on you. And I'm trying to conjure up a situation where things really went south on us. And I'm trying to fix them. One by one, I'm going through here and I'm fixing them. Now, there may be better ways to fix them. There may not be better ways to fix them. But certainly you need to fix them or you're going to be in trouble. So now... I've done a number of things, and let's come back over here and press refresh. Now, at least I'm not getting any error messages, but hardly is my life good. This isn't really the way it's supposed to be. We know this whole chunk is supposed to be indented in some. So let's try to figure out what's going on. Why is this looking so bad? Well, look here. Do you see this chunk of text, the H3 here? is all indented at the same level as the nav. It's not only inside the header, but it's inside the nav. It's in some weird place it shouldn't be. The header is going to be our header text, but all this text down here shouldn't be part of the header. So we use that special keystroke you can use in some editors. I'm holding Alt and um, Control down in order to select a couple columns, I'm deleting them. Now I'm putting it the same level as the header and I'm saving it and I'm coming back over here and I'm pressing refresh. And now things seem to be a little better, but they're still kind of a little weird, frankly. And let's see if we can figure out why things are so unhappy at this stage. Let's try indenting this one a little. And then look, see? it's suddenly better. I wasn't quite sure what was wrong. Our header has the nav bar. The nav bar is the grade area. The whole thing is the nav bar. And then the nav section has our LIs and our ULs. 
and that's these two guys here, which have been specially formatted with Bootstrap to look right. And then this piece of text, the kind of grayed out one, is still sort of inside the header, which perhaps is what we want it to be. That one sort of in some special place up there. <clears throat> Another option might be to might be to move it out of there. Oh yeah, it's still H3. We could move it out of there and then it becomes an H1 there like that with a text muted, right? And perhaps um, that's close to what we want and we can just get rid of this one here. Okay. That might be another way to make this thing look right. At any rate, the last little bit wasn't so important. It was just me mucking around because I got carried away. But I hopefully now you can understand a little better of what you need to do. I'm going to come back over here just for a second to um, WebStorm to show you what it all looks like in WebStorm. When you've got the tabs, using tabs, and you've got the visibility on it. One thing that's kind of nice about WebStorm, I'm going to make a mistake by putting in a mixture, and it shows you right here. I'm unhappy, right? Because it knows enough to say, you're doing tabs, this is a jade file, and you're doing tabs and spaces. So if we get rid of them, then our life becomes better. That's pretty much all I wanted to say. I hope you're doing well. I hope you understand this. Have fun with Jade. It's a wonderful tool. It's a very precise tool. You simply have to know how to use it. Thank you now. Bye.